This is another sign of the times and a physical manifestation of the book of Revelation. Apocalyptic fire in China. Tianjin, China. Chinese leaders are scrambling to contain the fallout from an apocalyptic fire in this major port city that appeared to reflect an enormous regulatory failure caused by a witch's brew of toxic chemicals housed within a mile of thickly populated areas. China's president personally ordered subordinates to ensure that all unaccounted for victims were found after the massive disaster and the army sent more than 200 hazardous chemical specialists in protective suits to investigate. The authorities also sought to constrict the flow of information as many traumatized citizens fumed over how such a disaster could happen and expressed frustration over what they called a lack of reliable guidance before or after the fire. They wondered if even the air was safe because of the smoke still billowing many hours later from vestiges of the inferno which destroyed an industrial zone near the port. Many people still wore protective masks. Questions loomed over the precise reasons the chemicals had ignited, detonating and frightening fireballs that registered on earthquake scales, engulfed hundreds and hundreds of new cars awaiting export, and shattered windows and high-rises a mile away. Authorities said at least 100 people or more had died, including dozens of firefighters, with many hundreds hospitalized. May the Lord rest their souls. At least one chemical known to have been stockpiled at the site, calcium carbide, can emit flammable gases when it becomes wet. Some outside experts speculated that firefighters, in their effort to douse the flames, may have inadvertently contributed to the explosions. If enough water gets in there, calcium carbide is going to very quickly decompose, said Chris Weber, President and Chief Executive of Dr. Hazmat Incorporated, a hazardous chemical consulting concern in Longmont, Colorado most likely and most violent reaction would be the calcium carbide. Many hospital patients were injured by shattered glass. The disaster began when firefighters responded to reports of a blaze at the chemical storage site run by a four-year-old company that unloads and stores hazardous cargo. The devastation was worse in the port area a sparsely populated expanse of warehouses and parking lots nearly 40 miles from the heart of Tianjin. Had the blast occurred during the day, the death toll would have most likely been far higher. Favorable winds may have also shielded residents from greater harm by blowing much of the toxic plume toward the sea. Calcium carbide was one of several toxic industrial chemicals stored by the company. The others included sodium cyanide, which can produce hydrogen cyanide, a volatile and flammable liquid. And there were other chemicals, which can also react violently in the presence of water. Logistics state news media and government officials said the company was also licensed to handle highly combustible substances such as compressed and liquefied natural gas. In a statement, Greenpeace warned that the chemicals threatened human health. It said that sodium cyanide used in mining is especially toxic, while other chemicals used to make polyurethane products are carcinogenic. Greenpeace also warned about the danger of airborne pollutants seeping into groundwater. The Tianjin Internet Police issued a warning that those who spread rumors about the fire would be severely dealt with according to the law. Comments on social media criticizing the government were promptly deleted, and for much of the day, 
the city's main news channel, played Korean soap operas, prompting ridicule on social media. It appeared that officials in Tianjin were aware of the risks. In recent weeks, officials with the city's administration of work safety met with local chemical companies and asked them to ensure the safety of their premises, citing summer weather that included extreme heat, high humidity, and heavy rain. According to an August 6 posting on the agency's website, so, in other words, this was a huge disaster and a man-made disaster at that. This is also like another physical manifestation of the Book of Revelation, which is a series of warnings for humankind. It really is about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations? And that should be a very important question to ask. Again, Revelation chapter 16, verse 8. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch humans with fire. 9. And humans were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which has power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. Yes, it's time for the physical and spiritual manifestation of the book of Revelation. And all these are more signs. And this is what I see, think, and feel.